right. Well, I'm excited too, because um, not only can um, directors earn a trip and business leaders earn a trip, managers, uh, you all can earn a $750 voucher. And I'm excited to hear what Dora is going to be sharing um, on how you can track that or um, her business plan for that. But I'm going to share with you, it's all going to start with connecting and contacting, okay? Because you can have all the goals you want, but if you're not connecting and contacting and asking people, you're not going to get anywhere. So, anyway, so guys, go out there and start talking about your business, all right? People are interested, all right? And they're waiting for someone to ask them, okay? Um, so what can you use? You've got all kinds of ways, guys. You've got your social media, your existing networks, if you've been in the business, um, even if you've not been in the business and you're new, you have networks of people. And we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, your vendor events, customer referrals, all right? Um, you want to create lead generation, all right? And create a list of potential leads. Always have the list. I can't remember his name right now, but Pam, a while ago, had a, a speaker come in and he's written books and I can't remember his name, but his I mean, he would walk around with his list in his pocket, okay? And and it was all tattered and, and whatever. And, and when he meet, met new people, he would add them to the list. And when he contacted them, he crossed them off. And it was a moving list. So lists are very important for you to grow your business, all right? So where are we going to do this at? We are going to do this um, in your social networks, all right? With groups that fit your market. So maybe you're part of a group. Um, you know, I'm, I'm part of a dementia group. Um, I'm part of a fitness group. So whatever groups you're interested in, okay? So you want to, to, to be part of that group and contribute to that group. But when there's an opening, when someone says, oh my goodness, I'm meal prepping, okay? That's an opening for you to, to personally share, okay? Not in the group, personally on the side, say, hey, you know, Hey, would you be interested in um, if I had a way for you to, you know, make meal prepping easier? Okay. Um, so your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your TikToks. All right. You guys, uh, that's a whole nother training about making your reels. Jenny's awesome, Adam, Nikki, Amy, all you guys. Uh, Tabitha trained at Jubilee about that. I mean, go find those trainings out there and learn how to create those, those reels and those TikToks and create a following and funnel them into your VIP groups, all right? So create that list there. Your neighborhood, okay? Your organizations you belong to, your church organizations, your um, sports organizations, your, your maybe your, um, uh, you play cards, poker, I don't know what you do, <laughs> whatever groups you belong to. Um, running er errands, when you're out and about, do you stop at the bank? Do you stop at the uh, hairdressers? I mean, your receptionist at the doctor's office, all right? Uh, community events, get involved with your community, all right? Uh, of course, your vendor shows. And when you see a show, if you're not in it, all right, ask if they've got a Tupperware rep there and be courteous, guys. If there's someone already there that is doing Tupperware, let's be courteous to that other person, all right? It's, it, they're already there. And maybe you say, hey, if this person ever leaves, I'd love to be on your wait list, all right? Next in line, all right? So let's let's be uh, everywhere you go, you can add to your list, okay? Um, be prepared. Uh, I like to use virtual business cards. You know why? Because, one, it saves me money. But two, hey, Pam, I'd love to give you my business card. It's virtual. Um, here it is. What's your cell phone number? I'll just pop it over to you right now. Guess what? Now I have her contact info, right? You give someone your business card, you're just... I hope then they're going to contact you back, all right? Um, but if you do give out business cards, I always like to give them more than one. Hey, this one's for you, Jenny, but there's two more here. So if you want to pass these on to a girlfriend, um, and if they uh, tell me that you were, you referred them to me, um, you get an extra gift from me, all right? So not one post uh, business card, three, okay? Just a couple of tips for you. All right, so how are you going to start this list? All right, I gave you some other ideas. Uh, but we always go back to the basics and let's think about Frank. These are just thought starters for you, okay? Make your own list, whether you want to do it in a notebook, on your cell phone, however you want to do it. Uh, your friends, you're going to start with your friends, okay? I'm going to dare you to look at your cell phone. Who are the top 10, 20 people that you talk to every day? Have you asked them? Your relatives, okay? 
parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, in-laws, okay? Uh, acquaintances, coworkers, clubs you belong to, church, hairdressers, receptionists, neighbors, okay? Every neighbor should know that you are the Tupperware girlfriend in the neighborhood, okay? <laughs> Nothing worse than you finding out that two doors down from you, a Tupperware party is going on and um, they didn't know you sold Tupperware, okay? And kids contacts, all right? Whether you have kids or don't have kids, there's kids everywhere, all right? There are moms out there. There's teachers, um, coaches, there's nieces and nephews, there's kids contacts, um, sports groups they belong to, all that. So that's just a basic way for you to start your list. Um, so we, we always talk about building that wonderful 100. Okay, that's a really swap, swap. <laughs> sweet spot to be at is when you have 100 people on that list and it's always rotating. It's always moving. You're going to cross people off. You're going to add people, all right? So whether you want to create it virtually, all right? Guys, we walk around with our cell phones. You can create a group called Future Tup Warehouse. And when you meet those new people, add them in there, okay? You can create your own groups in there. You can have it at your fingertips. So if you are taking kids to school and you've got to wait five minutes in the bus line to pick them up, you can make a contact, all right, at your fingertips. I didn't have that when I started my business. We had paper and notebooks and I had to make sure I carried it with me. And oh my goodness, if I lost it or if it got wet, forget it, all right? So um, we have so much more technology right now that we can use. Um, Again, you could use a notebook if you love that pen and paper. Absolutely. You got to do your style. All right. Gather their contact info. Uh, I always remember great training and it was with post-it notes. And you could, when someone asked you um, for a catalog, you could just pull out your post-it notes and say, you know what? I'd love to mail you a catalog. Go ahead and write down your address. Okay. And I will mail you a catalog. And don't forget to add your phone number. It starts with 330, right? If you know the area codes and you start them off, they will automatically give you their, their cell phone number and you can just tell them, I'm adding you to my new friend's drawing. I do a monthly drawing with all new people that I meet and add them to, to your drawing. Okay, guys? Um, so gather their information, uh, where and when you met. Them. So then afterwards, I like to write a little note like, oh, I met Jenny at the grocery store. She was behind me at Giant Eagle, okay? Um, she had adorable little uh, grandchildren with her. <laughs> whatever okay you gotta write those notes down i don't know about you i can't remember everybody i meet <laughs> um and something special about them so start today make your list i'm gonna dare you to start that list but after you make the list it's not good enough to just have a list okay i want you to block off some time and i want you to make the offer you need to ask and there are so many ways to communicate now i don't care if it's facebook messenger if you're doing WhatsApp, if there's there's all kinds, I don't even know all the names out there, okay? <laughs> uh, of course, there's text messaging, there's emails, and, and there's good old-fashioned calling them, all right? Whatever communication mode works for you, and you might have to change it up, all right? But when you make the offer, share something exciting. What are you excited about right now, okay? it um, You can ask people without being pushy. A lot of people feel like, I don't want to ask, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want, you know, I don't want to obligate people. Guys, they're not going to know if you don't tell them. And what if, you know what, if you don't, someone else will. I promise you, <laughs> okay? So what can we do? We can connect with exciting news and promotions. Right now, guys, we have a lot of exciting news. We've got last chance sales. Our summer catalog is it. I mean, I don't want you to miss out on some of the favorite products. And guess what? Our new fall catalog is starting. I'd love for you to be one of the first hosts to have the new, the new products, all right? Um, avoid talking about the products right away, okay? You don't want to start off with, hey, we have a really great pressure cooker. I'd love, you know, whatever. No, no, no. Start off with something exciting and fun and new. Uh, skip the declarative words like, you should have a party with me. Not a good idea. <laughs> you need to do this. Not a good idea, <laughs> all right? Um, ask questions instead of making statements, all right? Um, and never force the offering. You know what? Just know when to say no. Um, I always had my little notebook, and guys, it's going to take eight to 10 contacts before you get a result, all right? And if 
and, and after you make the contact, I put their name, their info at the top. I've got one through 10 written down and I'll write in there, hey, uh, June 10th, I sent her the, the new June flyer, okay? Or I text her or I Facebooked her or I private message, whatever you did and you sent her whatever sales special, change your communication mode, but make a note of how many times. And finally, if they say never, ever, I've never had anybody do this, by the way, never, ever contact me again. What is, what's going to happen? They're either going to join your team. They're going to finally have that party for you, or maybe they're going to get on that mega party with you, or maybe they're just going to say, you know what, Loretta, this is not a good time. Um, can you take me off your list? Absolutely. Just know when um, to say when. <laughs> um, speak slowly and allow your prospect to respond. Sometimes we get so excited. We're like, ah! we're so excited about all these promotions. Just take a deep breath and talk slowly. Oh my goodness, you can earn our lasagna pan for only $30 right now. Do you love baking? You know, baking season's upon us. And then just stop, okay? Because I'm talking really fast right now. <laughs> Uh, and vary your, your vary your outreach, like different modes of communication, which I already talked about. So just a sample. Hey, Cindy, I'm so excited Tupperware is alive and well, and we're launching our new fall holiday catalog. Would you like to join our mega party with friends on Facebook or have a great uh, get together with friends at your home? I'm not asking her, hey, would you do you want to have a Tupperware party? I'm not asking for a yes or no. I'm asking her to make a choice. Does she want to join my mega party? on Facebook or have a get together with her and her friends. Text me back before midnight for an extra gift. That is creating a sense of urgency. You sent texts out there, you never hear from them. They're just ghosting you, all right? Put a little offer in there and give them a time frame to get back to you, okay? And your Tupperware girlfriend, Loretta. So just a sample for you. So you can ask without being pushy, guys. So you've asked, gain the commitment. This is how, you, this is where people, they, they drop the ball, okay? 90% of salespeople drop the ball. They don't close the deal, okay? You ever have a best friend say, yes, I'll have a party for you. And you're like, oh yeah, it's great. And a couple of months go by. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I'll have a party for you. When I was new, I had one of my best friends, Donna. It took me two years till I actually had the party because you know why? I never closed the deal with her. I never said, hey, Donna, hey, how about March 15th or, or 30th? Which one works better? I never did that. I just, I didn't want to, push her. I didn't want to obligate her. Okay. You be in control of your business. All right. Gain the commitment. You're in control. Don't hesitate. You hesitate. You're going to lose the deal. Offer choices, live or virtual, weekday, weekend, day or evening, six or seven. Do you want a virtual kit? Well, this was before. We don't have the virtual kit. Actually, we have that $25 kit, which is kind of a virtual kit right now. You're getting a bowl <laughs> and a deluxe or a deluxe kit. Would you like our mini kit? It's called the mini kit or our, our deluxe kit, okay? Offer the choices. Assume, hey, oh my goodness, Cindy, I'm looking forward to having uh, helping you have a debt-free holiday, okay? Maybe you've been talking to them about recruiting. Let's schedule a grand opening. I have Wednesday the 23rd open. I'm just assuming. Now, this is after I've been talking to her and I know where we're going, okay? This is not the first thing I'm gonna say to This is I'm closing the deal, okay? Um, and if they still need more time, then you know what, offer the, offer the next step. Uh, you know what, Pam, I can, you know, if this isn't right for you right now, how about just hopping on our Tuesday night mega party, check out our new fall catalog that's gonna be coming out. Um, there's also some great demos and recipes that we share, or, or maybe you guys are doing Tupper bingos. Um, some of you guys are doing the boards for the fundraiser, invite them to something if they're just not ready now. So hope you've got some great new ideas, guys. And um, I thought I had another slide in here. Uh, buyers do business, business with you, not with your company. They do business with you guys and not with your technology. Um, if you're not taking care of your customers, your competitor will. Okay, so take care of them. Go call them. You got people that love Clearly Elegant, you better get on the ball right now and tell them last chance on that beautiful Clearly Elegant set that we have. Uh, approach each customer with the idea of helping him or her to solve a problem or achieving a goal, not of selling a product or a service. It's not your customer's job to remember you. Guys, they can find Tupperware people all over the internet, okay? 
It's your obligation, responsibility to make sure they don't have a chance to forget you. When I do my parties, I ask them over and over again who their favorite Tupperware girlfriend is. <laughs> and they all yell my name, okay? Not because I want to hear my name, guys. You know, it makes me sad. And I tell them, I go, it makes me sad. I ran into somebody the other day and she told me she had a great part. She had a party or she was at a party. I'm like, oh, you were? I'm like, who was the Tupperware um, girlfriend or who was the Tupperware consultant? And they're like, I don't know. Oh, that hurts my soul, okay? You got They got to know who you are. All right. You don't close a sale, you open a relationship. Remember that, guys. You're creating new relationships with these, with, uh, these men and women, these people that are your hosts, these customers are your, um, if you want to build a long-term successful enterprise. All right, guys, let's go out there. Let's go connect. Let's contact. Let's just ask.